It's your boy, Slim the Foss, with a review of Navy SEALs versus Zombies. Um, that's yeah, that title I know y'all like, yo, what the but it's straightforward to the point. I'm not gonna keep saying it over and over again because that's just too much to say. But Navy SEAL versus Zombies, basically let's get straight to the plot. The vice president is making a having a press conference in Baton Rouge. He makes a press conference, he leads with his staff and the security, and then just out of nowhere. People start attacking his staff and the security. They got to they got to run back in the building. You know, the people are turned into zombies, but we don't know why at first. Um, the Navy SEALs are called in. They don't know what's going on. They think it's a regular old mission. They don't know nothing about the zombies, no nothing. So they get called in. They, they quickly find out, yo, people are turned into zombies. Like, what's going on? So later, you know, they, they get the vice president to the helicopter. One of his staff that's basically bitten but hit it get on copter with him. She turns into a zombie and helped the copter crash. We don't know if he, this device president survived or not, but you know, he's pretty much dead in all the sense count. So the Navy SEALs find out that this is a, you know, if, along with some other people find out this is a form of biological warfare. So they go and try to find a vaccine within the city and, you know, not going to say if they make it out or not. You just had to check the movie. I ain't going to get the whole movie now. Straight to the point. Look, this is a low budget movie, so don't be over here expecting no special effects and no no high end type of stuff. I think one of the people who was turned into a zombie had some ketchup on her mouth. Like she bite into you, that's supposed to be blood. If she bites you, you are gonna turn into a hot dog or something. But that didn't look like no real blood over there. That looked like some some paint that was on her face. And the other one, you know, had so much makeup on, it looked like no zombie at all. Like it's low budget movie. I don't even think it cost that much to make. You know what I'm saying? It had a few. Actors I've seen in a few roles and some flicks here and there and some TV shows in the past. You know, I had Rick Fox in it as the vice president. Um, I think I saw Lola Jones in it. I mean, it ain't had like super high end actors in it and the actresses, but it was all right. It was straightforward. I mean, it, you know, it was decent. It was a couple of bad acting scenes, but overall, the acting was okay. The plot was straightforward. I mean, it was to the point. It, they ain't trying to be all extracurricular and all this other crazy type of stuff. Now, the question is, is it about that bike life? Um, sort of. It's like I said, I mean, and I ain't trying to, uh, a, a, a movie's budget shouldn't factor into that. But I feel as though if it had a bigger budget, they would have really went all the way in. But. It was it was okay. I mean, they they established what they need to establish, and the story was decent. I mean, and don't be getting on here talking about oh, this movie's several years old, it, but it, it's new to me though. I ain't seen it before. So, with that said, I'm gonna give it one point nine zombie bite lice out of five zombie bite lives. And it's your boy, Something the Fuck, signing out. I'm out of here like last year.